In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix Cortana won't do anything. So if your Cortana literally is not doing anything, it will not allow you to talk into it or search or just absolutely nothing is happening when you use Cortana, then by following the steps in this video, we will hopefully be able to resolve the issue. So as you can see on my screen at the moment, I have Cortana up and I'm not signed in. So if you're not signed in, you do need to be signed in to use Cortana. If you can also open up Cortana, another thing that you want to do is just quickly click on the three dots and then click on about and just make sure you do have the latest update installed. So as you can see, I do actually have an update available. So I now need to go ahead and click on update to install the latest update. If you have an update available, you also need to do this. As you can see, I might need to restart my computer. So make sure you have saved everything before updating Cortana. Once the update has installed, go ahead and see if that resolved the issue that you were having with Cortana. So if that didn't resolve the problem, then the next thing we want to do is right click on the start menu icon. You then need to click on settings and we now need to click on to update and security and just ensure we have the latest Windows 10 updates installed. Click on check for updates and then Windows will see if there are any new updates available. If there are, go ahead and install them. Also, if you do have an optional update available, go ahead and install that and see if that helps resolve the issue as well. But just make sure you have backed up any important files in case anything was to go wrong. So the next thing we want to do is right click on the start menu icon again and you now need to click onto apps and features. You now need to go ahead and click on to the search box and we now need to type in Cortana. You then need to select Cortana and click onto advanced options. You need to make sure that runs at login is turned on. If this is turned off, then that will most likely be what was causing you the issue with Cortana. So go ahead, restart your computer and see if that helped resolve the issue. If that didn't help resolve the issue with Cortana, then the next thing you want to do is stay on this settings page, scroll down, and then you want to terminate the program. We now need to go ahead and click on repair, and this will now repair Cortana. And don't worry, it won't affect the app's data. Once you've got the tick, go ahead and see if it resolved the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing you want to do is a complete reset, which will wipe the app's data. So if you're happy, go ahead and click on reset. And once it's finished resetting, that would have hopefully fixed the issue you were having with Cortana. So I hope this tutorial has helped you out and you enjoyed it. If it did, smash that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.